Hi and welcome back. So here in, yeah, it's not the midst of October, but in the middle of all the the October stuff, I got a package from Amazon. I'm just gonna remove this because my dress is on there, and I got another package too. So let's go. We got a little bit of a haul video here. I ordered something from Amazon because I need to update. A video I did a while back that's actually quite popular and it's my review of these the erasable uh, uh, colored pencils from Faber Castell at the time where I did the review there was only this set the 12 colors out but they have come out with a 24 set so um, I want to do an update on, on that review so I got this set um, so that's the first thing here. Then there's something here I kind of sneak out because this is a gift for somebody who might be watching. And, uh, so we just tuck that out. And then there's this, and I have been looking at this or things like it for quite a long time. I got a 10 set of real brush pens, not the fancy ones, these, sorry, Art Avalanche, these, this one here, and there's a spider corpse on there, and there's 12 in this, and it's good, but it was a little short in, in some colors, I, I really like these, uh, many of the other watercolor pens you can get, they tend to get, make the paper pill when uh, when you use them, but the real brush ones doesn't. And I've been a little bit cheap uh, with these because I think they, for what they are, they are a little bit pricey. What I really wanted was, of course, the sick real ones, but uh, I'm too cheap to pay the price. And um, yeah, I actually ev even the. Even the ones from Arteza is a little pricey. But these were on offer there from Uhuru. And uh, it's a, it's a, a 50 pack, but there's 48 colors in here. And I believe there's... So. Here's a... Oh! Uhuru speci special offer, 10% of everything. How to claim. Okay. And FAQs. FAQs. So yeah, here's the the pens. There's yeah, there's two water brushes coming with it. Uh, they look like they're the same or very close to the same size. Yeah, they are pretty much the same. It's okay. This one is oh, and it twists the wrong way. <laughs> so, so that's good. I like water brushes, as some might have noticed. So, 48 colors and two water brushes is in that 50 set. I saw a review on this, and they look quite good. I think I paid about 26 euros for this. So that's that's an okay price. Um, I'll see if I can put this away without throwing it. There we go. Now as some of you might know I was missing I forgot to buy a cold red Sinali ink. So I ordered that, but in order to justify the shipping price, which is fixed at this company, I ordered some more with it. Here we go. Oh, that's 
Oh, my goodness, I wish you wouldn't put my address right. There. So. The cat will be excited. There's new boxes for him. So, I ordered four of these empty pipette glass bottles. And I'm going to put my Winston Newton inks over into these if I possibly can. Um, because I don't like that there's no pipette in the Winston Newton inks. Jeepers, all that plastic. So here's a box with four more, or three more. So that's four all together. Here is the ink, and I ordered a purple as my cold red. So now it definitely has enough ink for any any amount of ink drawings I want to do. Sorry for. There we go. And then I bought a block of Henny Mule acrylic paper because I want to do oil, more oil painting and maybe also some acrylic painting. But uh, I didn't really want to buy a lot of cheap, not very good canvas. So I figured I would try this because you can paint on this. It should be good for oil paints as well. There's 50 sheets in this, so that was... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I thought it was a block, but it's a stack of, of loose papers. It has a very slight texture to it. I don't think I can show it on camera. Very, very slight texture to it so that is going to be nice and smooth to paint on so I should just open one end and love it but this is uh, this is interesting and it's actually okay that it is loose because then I can hand some to my niece who might want some so that was all my stuff for now I am going to make a swatch video with the Uhura markers and I'm going to do a small update on my review on these. So, uh, yeah, more stuff to come on the channel. Thank you all for watching. Please throw me a like and a subscribe.